guys are more than welcome to come down here. There's room. Yeah. My name is Leah. Um, I've been working with the Killer Whales for six years now. They're amazing. Um, welcome to our backstage area. So I'm going to kind of give you an overview of what we do here. So um, our overall health care of the animals is really important to us. So our number one priority is always making sure that our animals are as healthy as they can be. You're going to learn a lot more about their health care at our next station with Ashley. Um, behind you is our fish house that you just passed. That's where we keep all their fish through the day. A lot of people ask us how much fish do the animals get. Each animal has a unique diet just for them, but it averages, it's about 100 pounds for each animal. Some get a little bit more, some get a little bit less. Um, you can see this board to your right. So,
Kelly's just playing with them right now. Uh, a lot of the whales really do enjoy the ice. There's some whales that are like, no, I don't count my thing. So, all right, so at this station, you guys are going to be learning about this pool right here in front of us. Pretty excited, right? Yeah. So, this pool, you might be looking at it like, it's so tiny. Right, it's tiny. It's, you know, the floor is halfway up. It looks kind of different, right? Well, this pool is our most important pool that we have in our entire facility. And the reason for that is because this is the pool that we will on the veterinary procedures. So, it's not where we actually have two of them. We have one right here, and we have one on the other side. And the reason the floor looks so uh, silly right now is because it's halfway up. It does go down, but this floor can lift a killer whale in about 30 seconds. So it comes all the way up. That way, if a whale, a whale were to ever get sick, we can bring them into this pool, and then we can lift them up in about 30 seconds, and we can do that easy if we ever need it. If we didn't have a pool that way, uh, what we would have to do is we would have to get a crane, we would have to put water tights in, in the slot by the gate, drain the pool, then stick a ladder in it, and then go down there and lift the whale. So no. that's very stressful for the whale, it's very time consuming, so that's not what we want. So that's why this pool is very important. And because it's so important, we need to make sure that it is the most reinforcing pool for the whale. Because if a whale were to ever get sick, we want them to remember all the goodness and reinforcement that this whale or this pool has. Um, so what we do is when we bring the whales in here, obviously we do it daily, and we throw a party in this pool <laughs> um, very consistently. So we'll bring the whales in, we'll do what Kelly's doing there, we'll play games with them, we'll get them toys in here, we'll get them fish, we'll uh, get them rub down, all kinds of just good things in this pool. That way they always remember that. And also when the floor turns on, it's kind of loud, right? So we have to uh, desensitize them to this pool quite often. To make sure, like, you know, the, the, the pool doesn't turn on, it's loud, and then they want to run away. You know, we want to make sure that they're used to the sound, they're used to getting raised without any vets coming over to take care of it. And then we can drop it down and go, well, that wasn't too bad, right? So that's why it's very important for us to uh, make sure that this pool is very real. Get in, in the water with them in this pool. Uh, 
Um, and it's, we're basically training them to have manners, not to push, not to do anything like that. So it's respond to recall, so slapping the water to come up later when the camera that ever fell in the water. Um, and then we like, you know, we put hands on them, like on their back and stuff like that, just to get them used to having us next to them without them pushing. So that's the only time we get in the water. Um, a lot of people are also interested to see that we actually even caught to train our whales. What? Really? Yes, we do. It takes a long time to potty train the whales. So for the females, we ask the whales to slide up onto their side. We show them the cup, and then they know to feed into the cup. It takes wow. a long time to train them, though. Malia took two and a half years to train them. Is it like a bucket or a cup? It's a cup. It's, a, it's, a, it's the same uh, urine cup that you can get out of the bucket. Wow. Yep. Wow. Um, we can test their yeah, hormones. And that's it for medical purposes. Exactly. So you the camp, but normally they'll just pee in the pool, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's once a day that we have. Right. I was wondering, how does the filtration system work in like a salt water tank this large? It's a big whole water quality team that takes care of all the water, but it is filtered. Oh my goodness. Kyle and Trua. Uh, it looks like. To like a mature adult, like at what age do you think that happens? Um, I would say in their 20s. <laughs> uh, the cat or true, he's uh, almost 15, and by no means would I call him an adult. <laughs> <laughs> he's not quite mature. <laughs> no, he's not quite mature. Uh, I would say in their 20s, uh, they 
probably become an adult. Prince Mary's like cheap things. Say I'm not mature, I'm mature. Look at me, I'm not going to you right now. Yeah. Uh, so they've been playing with these toys. They have uh, had Jello stuck to all of their toys uh, that they really seem to enjoy playing with and trying to manipulate and get off. Uh, so that's the toy that he had Jello on. And so Aww. as you can see, he loves balancing it. Um, our older killer whales do play with toys as well. So Katina, her favorite toy is um, that blue ball, that smaller blue ball right there. Yep, um, that is her favorite. And sometimes, like Makayo, doesn't always want to give it up. So uh, we gave it to her in the morning one day and she didn't give it up until the last session of the entire day. So um, sometimes they just choose to, I don't want to interact, I just want to hang out with my toys all day. And you know what we do? Nothing, we can't do anything about it. So. When you do the shows, I was curious, when you do the shows, because they are animals, right? Right. Um, and you can't make them do anything. What do you do with this? Resting the show? No, it on his melon. Oh. How do you, what do you do? Yeah, I mean, it happens all the time. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I wonder. Yeah, so you just give them, like, you just stand there for three seconds, and then you move on. Okay, you're that's okay. it. Like, you're like, the joke. okay, you don't want to do it? That's fine. Okay, we'll move on. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like, you know, they're like children. They're going to do what they want to do. Yeah, exactly. Do. All right. All right, well, it looks like you guys are going to,